With high school football regular season just a week away, several teams will be getting their reps in tomorrow with plenty of scrimmages going on. One team in action will be the Northeast Raiders. The Raiders are coming off of their best season ever, going 9-4 and four and making it to the 2A state quarterfinals for the first time. Of course, head coach Jeremy Wiggins wants to build off of last season and go even further. But for the Raiders scrimmage, he only has two goals in mind. Just to get better and stay healthy, you know. Um, me and Sp Coach Spoon got a good relationship where we kind of understand what both of us are trying to do going into the regular season. So we got a good understanding, you know, that we both want to stay healthy and we want to get some good film so we can correct our mistake and get ready for the next week. As Coach Wiggins noted, the Raiders will be facing Coach Spoon Risper and the Westside Seminoles tomorrow in their scrimmage. And Westside is coming off of its first losing season in the school's 25-year history, which talks a lot about their successes in a way. But outside of the solid records on a yearly basis, Coach Spoon is missing one main piece of hardware. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution did an article on it. It was like complimenting us and then slapping us in the face at the same time. Uh, they labeled us as one of the winningest programs in the state of Georgia without a state championship. So, so we've got to get a state championship. Well, no better time than now and for Westside to go and get that title. This year, their campaign begins with a scrimmage against the Northeast Raiders tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Brad Henderson Stadium. Another two teams in action tomorrow are the Rutland Hurricanes taking on the Howard Huskies. Both teams struggled last year with team sizes. Rutland was in the 4A struggling to battle teams much larger than theirs, and now they have moved down to the 2A. And Howard only had 37 players last season, where this year they have consistently had at least 65 show up to each practice. Howard head coach Paul Carroll addressed what could have caused this shift in incoming players. We're getting back to normal. I think the whole school system's getting back to normal. I think last year, uh, in the last past two years, the kids come out, they did all that work all week long, and all of a sudden you have one kid that would get COVID and the games were shut down. So kids just kind of decided to say, you know, I really don't want to put that much work in everything. Well, luckily, we've seen that growth in participation in several sports since the slowdown of COVID-19. Howard and Rutland will face off tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Ed DeFore Sports Complex.